వెల్కమ్ టు ట్రిగర్ విత్ సుందర్ ఈ రోజు మన స్టూడియోలో ఉన్నారు ఎస్ఎఫ్ఐ ఆల్ ఇండియా ప్రెసిడెంట్ విపి సాను ఆయనతో మాట్లాడదాం హాయ్ సాను హాయ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద నీట్ స్కామ్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ హూ ఆర్ బిహైండ్ దిస్ స్కామ్ సో యాక్చువల్లీ వెన్ దిస్ నీట్ స్టార్ట్ దట్ టైమ్ సెంట్రల్ గవర్నమెంట్ సేస్ దెర్ వాస్ సో మెనీ అదర్ అలిగేషన్ అగేన్స్ట్ డిఫరెంట్ స్టేట్స్ ఓన్ దిస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ కాంపిటేటివ్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ ఫోర్ Uh, uh, this uh, education and job also hmm. that was bigger one was vyabham scam hmm. in madhya pradesh hmm. so that time they said one centralized examination hmm. across the country it will be very clear it will be very neat hmm. but now it shows neat is not very neat hmm. that is very clear so uh, in this it was hey, it is a huge scam who's scam there is no doubt this mm. is a one of the biggest scam mm. because from haryana from one in one sender more than 80 people got 720 mark mm mm-hmm. out of 720 and so many other students they got 719 718 717 mark it is not possible why no, why 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 it is not possible because uh, if one student mm. he or she doesn't attend one question mm then four mark they will lose then they can get 716 if they answered a wrong answer for one question then they will reduce that four plus for this wrong answer one then five they can get 715 mark hmm after 720 they can get 716 or 15 17 18 90 is not possible logically so what kamal was that that that, that marks so many got mm. from uh, gujarat one uh, news came mm. one student who got uh, in higher secondary 21 mark out of 100 for physics mm. 31 out of 100 for chemistry 39 out of 100 for biology mm. and he scored 705 mark out of 720 in neat examination mm. so that's why i'm saying it is a huge scam because one getting 720 or 719 or 718 mark he can get the uh, admission in premium institute like aims for any other big, b- best uh, that uh, medical colleges in india mm. so for getting that or even getting admission in a private institute it means huge money they have to spend it is start from one crore this donation Mm. that so called uh, donation that is uh, will be 1 crore minimum for different colleges mm. and fees also in different state it is from uh, 3.5 to 13 or 14 for management seats and uh, for uh, uh, nri it is very high mm. so some 30 lakh or 25 lakh now from news some co- news coming from haryana mm. with 25 lakh or 30 lakh students got that uh, Uh, question paper in earlier mm-hmm. that type of news also come there, there is no uh, that type of fact check happens mm. it have to come out mm. so spending 30 lakh and getting admission in aims or any other government medical college mm. it is much more economic profitable for them mm. so whose failure is this actually total government failure mm. actually first they said mid of june this result will come mm. but it preponed mm mm-hmm. and when that uh, notification came mm. there was nothing about this moderation now they say they are saying they give moderation to everybody mm. else mm-hmm. so a competitive examination and that is one of the biggest examination because 24 lakh more than 24 lakh students attending this examination i think no other examination attend uh, the students attending this much number is for no, uh, not any other examination so that much students attending examination in that a huge scam don't know how much money they earn means that part of government even this bjp people and other uh, the bureaucrats may get something means nta hmm. that nta is for all that is now it is like a total solution hmm. this neat examination Uh, central university common entrance test ugc uh, net jrf examination all examination all competitive examination is conducted by this nta mm. and nta is not a academic body mm. 
so from uh, from the beginning onwards SFI is against this need and this NTLs. Why? Why? Why you are against? Because it? one thing it is attack on federalism. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, this type of uh, admission to different colleges mm -hmm. means most of the universities, uh, medical colleges, under state universities. Mm -hmm. So admission to that state universities or state colleges that also controlling by examination conducting by central government. Mm -hmm. So that is attack on federalism. Hmm. So that's why one of the reason uh, this one hmm. and another one this type of malpractice hmm. may happen because uh, so many UPSC UPSC examination earlier uh, railway board recruitment board examination hmm. everywhere this type of problem happening. Mm -hmm. So this uh, which are the state who conduct it very neat hmm. earlier their hmm. state examination hmm. their students means that students from that state they are suffering. Hmm. Already this uh, because of uh, this language problem hmm. because only questions were in English and Hindi earlier. Hmm. They are imposing Hindi. They are imposing English. Yes, yes. What yes, is yes. your demanding? Our demand hmm. that uh, uh, we said up to uh, that uh, primary education it must be hmm. in mother tongue. And other people also most of the state uh, syllabus it is on their own language so directly with one examination or one standard changing totally to another language it is difficult and who is uh, that uh, to, that uh, what to kick out from education hmm. the marginalized recession the rural people economically socially or regionally marginalized is kicked out from education Hmm. That is uh, Tamil Nadu is the examination and uh, Maharashtra also because their number to admit in medical colleges that reduced after NEET hmm. because they are uh, studying in uh, Tamil only they hmm. don't know English and Hindi then suddenly one examination coming that is in English and Hindi then who studied in CBSE or ICSE syllabus or who are from the cities major metropolitan cities they can get a admission others are not get mm. because of this need started need so many students particularly in tamil nadu mm. commit suicide not in tamil nadu other places also but very particularly we can say so many people that's why we are against need from mm. the beginning mm. now it is totally revealed so this is not a problem with education sector mm. because after five years how we can go to a hospital we have a serious disease, hmm. we want a surgery, how we can go to a hospital. Hmm. We can't trust doctors hmm. because we don't know uh, they uh, if uh, they can ma ma manipulate in NEET examination, they hmm. can clearly manipulate in MBBS examination also. Hmm. So, we don't, <laughs> we can't hmm. trust them. Hmm. Actually, Supreme Court also responded on yes, this yes, case. Yes, yes. What is the latest update? So that uh, so many people went, uh, that uh, went to Supreme Court also. Supreme Court said uh, investigation, but not proper investigation is not hmm. that uh, any uh, that step from central government or from Supreme Court happens. Hmm. Actually, our demand is that investigation must be under a judicial commission, hmm. and from Supreme Court, the sitting judge. judge hmm must be the head of that uh, judicial commission hmm. otherwise this uh, what to say this uh, so called cba or any other agency will hmm. uh, anger nothing will happen why nothing uh, will happen because yeah. you show so that uh, how many cases cba angered in our country hmm. and how many uh, they uh, culprited how many got punished hmm. that number is very less hmm. like ed ed hmm. less than one percentage is <laughs> their mm. uh, rate mm. of uh, getting punishment for the culprit. Mm. Same like CB also. CB mm. is much better than ED. Mm. We can't say only that. Mm. Other state police is better, more, more, far, far better than CB. Mm. We can't compare because most of the uh, state police, their uh, conviction rate is more than 30, 40 percentage. Mm. But CB is less than 10 percentage. Mm. So, judicial anger is needed. Hmm. And wherever the uh, 
a huge uh, this uh, malpractice happens or manipulations happens like uh, i already mentioned about one center in haryana some 80 mm. students got uh, total mark means more than 700 mark that type of places re-examination is needed mm. re-examination for all 24 lakh mm. it may not be possible mm. and attending this exam again because most of the students mm. they are very innocent they don't know mm. what happened mm. <laughs> they don't know this underground drama so they also will be victim that's mm. why wherever the huge problem happens mm. that should be engaged and uh, strong punishment how to give and that places re-examination also needed Hmm. Why you accuse government, central government in this scam? Oh, already said, they said first June, mid, mid of June. Hmm. Why it pre before election result? Hmm. Why? Think what is the some, secret? Some, some uh, political gain may be there. Hmm. That we don't know that how to reveal. Some hmm. political gain may be there. Hmm. Otherwise, why? After getting that result coming up uh, after 10 or 12 days, what is the problem in it? Hmm. Nothing will happen. No changes. So why it pre -pont? And this NTA already said, NTA is not an academic body. Hmm. The central government, they put this, made this NTA, National Testing Agency. Hmm. So, in there also, there are people. So directly, some involvement is there. Hmm. The in this scam? Yes. Hmm. Whether that money goes to uh, election campaign or not hmm. that how to reveal anyway huge scam happens hmm. BJP have their own that uh, uh, they have clear that uh, part of that what about NEP so new education policy new education policy new education policy before that this NEET started hmm. NEET also it said it is attack on federalism hmm. NEP is also attack on federalism. Why, why attack? Uh, on that actually, uh, when uh, that our constitution assembly was there, that time huge debate was there hmm. in which list education must be. So some people said as a part of national integration, education must be in central list. Hmm. So many people said it must be in concurrent list. Finally, Ambedkar and the, the majority said it must be in state list hmm. because their local culture, local language, local traditional thing, everything should be in education. So it must be under state. When this uh, emergency imposed by Indira Gandhi, that time it took to uh, concurrent list. Hmm. Now they are trying to take it into central because all control. Hmm. So uh, through this central university common entrance test, now to all central university this uh, that they are taking uh, admission from that list mm. even some state universities also mm. taking from that and uh, curriculum they are intervening mm. curriculum they want to change everything history change history so mm. many places we already uh, uh, discussed that means from Karnataka, so many news, mm. different places. Mm. Mahatma Gandhi is not there. Jawaharlal mm. Nehru is there. Bhagasing, Bhagasing, Bhagasing is not there. Mm. Uh, Maulana Abul Kalam Azad is not there. Mm. But sometime Savarkar or mm. Kodse may be come mm. Mm. Uh, in future. And uh, in uh, Tumkur University, mm. there is one chair for uh, Savarkar. Mm. The Savarkar chair they started in Tumkur University, Karnataka. Hmm. Different places. Hmm. This, type, this type of Hindutva. What is the agenda behind this new education policy? New education policy, so many agendas. One one is communalization. Communalization. Communalization uh, hmm. of students. Hmm. At the fascism, they said, catch them young. Hmm. That is one agenda. Hmm. So, with this, through changing this curriculum, they can catch Indian total people. From the beginning, means from childhood onwards, with their own agenda. Mm. One is that. Another one is they can exclude the students from my marginalized. Because this is this uh, NEP is not implementing in uh, central institute like Navodaya or uh, what to uh, Kendriya Vidyalaya mm. or in CBSE. Mm -hmm. It will be in means so many things. Mm. Means like. Uh, 
uh, this uh, job practice like that tra job training thing starting from five standard mm -hmm. it is not there in cbse or icsc syllabus mm -hmm. it's only in state syllabus mm -hmm. so that means the marginalized people will do mm. plumbing wiring and other uh, carpenting that work only mm. so they will be excluded from higher education already that is they are excluding mm. that is another thing mm. and now anybody anywhere they can start any education institution even mm. state government's permission also not needed are they imposing manaspati in the name of new education policy that will come mm. because slightly mm. they will uh, impose that mm. that is uh, already i said savarkar is there mm. mahatma gandhi is out mm. then mm. manaspati also will come because uh, this about this uh, job training yeah, is very that. clearly mm. manaspati mm. they are uh, trying to impose mm. the new version of manaspati mm. and it helps corporates corporates ah, because mm. geo mm. geo university where is that university do you know mm. nowhere 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 mm. only in website ah, we, we can see in website we can see on papers yeah mm. only there mm. no physical you know no physical university till now they, they are planning but mm. it get get got excellence excellence before starting mm. it got excellence from central Sand, uh, government mm. that is excellent university in india how how, how it was the government gave mm. not to uh, hyderabad central university or jnu or any iit or iim mm. this university got jnu university got mm. before starting the miracle was happened to for whom they are mm. we know that abraham lincoln said Mm. about uh, democracy mm. for the people by the people mm. from the people mm. this government is mm. for the corporates mm. by the corporates mm. from the corporates mm. that's the reason they are all policies mm. favorable for corporates so now the thing is corporate and hindutva nexus mm. that collaboration of hindutva and corporates happens in india mm. in this national education policy also it is very clear mm. one is their hindutva agenda another one is everything for corporates now it is uh, nda 3.0 mm. era is modi going to uh, implement the uh, nep and uh, such things so you called that what is the federalism mm -hmm. is he aggressively going to implement those policies so actually the said is bar char char so bar mm. that was there uh, they said 374 bjp mm. and 400 plus for nda mm. then the first thing they said they will change mm. our constitution that was one of the is major campaign in mm. the election time mm. they will change uh, indian constitution now after election when he is taking oaths mm. what is in his hand the same constitution constitution is there first time mm. we know when that parliament new building inauguration was happen mm. there was sengol is no, ah sengol is sengol was there. Mm. no constitution was there mm. our uh, president was not there mm. some this madhav uh, sanyasi mm. other saints they were there mm. but now mm. he is holding constitution mm. what change so, was happen actually uh, people actually defeated them mm. the problem is the total uh, what to say the opposition mm. they couldn't understood mm. up to third or fourth phase of election mm. that eager against them is there mm. because of education unemployment poverty price hike and so many so and so so many issues are there mm. on all this issue people are against people were against bjp Mm. but that couldn't understood by this india alliance or any other total uh, opposition parties that's mm. why otherwise mm. if they recognize it first phase onwards mm. this government may be uh, no, not by nda that may be by india alliance or any others uh, except nda that will happens mm. so that eager they couldn't recognize so that is one thing and what they done in last time last time they had 303 seats yeah single party had mm, 303 yeah. nda 353 353 mm. so that was much huge 
that majority one sided majority one sided majority mm-hmm. so they can easily pass anything mm. now it is not possible mm. because now the main parties they have 240 mm. another second party is tdp, TDP. Mm. third party is uh, that uh, the biggest opportunist party mm. <laughs> the dish kumar's party dish kumar. no? mm. that jdu mm. this jdu and tdp mm. they are against that uh, uh, recalling repealing reservation mm. to minority and obc mm. they are against that mm. nitish kumar's uh, biggest demand is caste survey mm. across the country bjp is against that mm. and about uh, ca mm. both party have different mm. opinion implementing of ca in different things they have their own opinion mm. how will be this com- combination several conflict several that should uh, be there hmm. and this party is i already said the biggest opportunities uh, nidesh kumar hmm. in india opportunities tdp also hmm. not not that much like uh, uh, what to say this nidesh kumar hmm. tdp also hmm. they also a uh, opportunity hmm. uh, position that took hmm. so many times hmm. so moving a government with this type of people mm. and with uh, different opinion and in on ca mm. or uh, about reservation or mm. any other thing mm. their consideration or the, that is genuine mm. because their own base mm. is from this backward caste mm. so uh, that bc is their strength both parties mm. from bihar or oh. andhra also of yeah. course oh. uh, that, that, so they can't take any position against mm. backward caste so bjp can't aggressively mm. implement their policies mm. what they implemented Earlier. last time yes mm. so, so conflict will be there mm. continuously we, let's see how how long how will, will be go. the uh, alternative voices left uh, uh, agitations and mm-hmm. how will be the mm. so last time so many agitations mm. especially we can see this uh, uh agriculture farmers farmers agitation it was there. huge hmm. one one year long hmm. agitation was there only after independence fight it is the yeah biggest one fight. of the biggest hmm. and uh, uh, another thing only hmm. in, uh, that modi hmm. he repealed only one thing hmm. in last 10 year that is that three farm laws hmm. he only defeated by farmers, farmers. of india so hmm. uh, that is you can uh, debatable hmm. because everything it is not implemented mm. so that uh, their demand they are again they are going to but that reflected in election mm. western up mm. haryana mm. rajasthan this state mm. uh, punjab bjp reduced their seat mm. this protest also reason mm. for that mm. wherever the opposition party was strong or they can mobilize vote mm. from that issues they been Mm. so that is by left mm. and uh, about student movement mm. before this election one year back uh, we made one platform that is united students of india mm. 16 students organization that uh, different opinion ha- they have but for this uh, cause of education mm. against bjp we are together fighted that will continue mm. that should that have to continue because again bjp is there and their I, I, idea will come so left how its own space mm. there is not also doubt. democratic voices yes yes mm. that is needed now we know about uh, media mm. 95% of india's media is mm. under control of some corporates mm. but there also so many uh, that what to say uh, so- sounds from mainly from uh, like uh, your a uh, channel this mm. youtube channels mm. we know some we can say mention some names like mm. dhruvrati or uh, rebish kumar mm. so like they got huge support huge support huge, support, huge, huge response from yeah mm. huge countries viewers. yeah mm. so one hand totally mm. corporate and corporate media supporting mm. narendra modi and bjp but same time the most of the people viewing the other part mm. was uh, criticizing modi and bjp that part also having getting uh, that uh, uh, visibility mm. that is good thing thank you sanu thank you okay. very much
ప్రజలారా విన్నారు కదా నీట్ సంబంధించిన అంశంలో కేంద్ర ప్రభుత్వం ఫెయిల్యూర్ ఉంది కాబట్టి వెంటనే నీట్ ను రద్దు చేయాలి అదేవిధంగా సెంట్రలైజేషన్ సెంట్రలైజేషన్ అనేది తీసుకొస్తుంది నీట్ అనేది కాబట్టి నీట్ ను రద్దు చేసి ఈ ఫెడరలిజాన్ని కాపాడాలి అంటున్నారు వీపి సాను గారు అదేవిధంగా ఇప్పుడు త్రీ పాయింట్ ఓ ఎన్డీఏ గవర్నమెంట్ సంబంధించి ఈ గవర్నమెంట్ లో కూడా లెఫ్ట్ డెమోక్రటిక్ వాయిస్ అనేవి చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ రోల్ పోషించబోతుంది ఫ్యూచర్ లో కాబట్టి ప్రతి ఒక్కరు డిజిటల్ మీడియాకు సంబంధించిన అంశంలో కూడా ఫ్రీ వాయిసెస్ అంటే పబ్లిక్ ఉపయోగపడే అంశాలను చెప్తున్న వాయిసెస్ ఎలక్షన్ లో మంచి ప్రభావం చూపినాయని వీపీ సాన్ గారు అంటున్నారు ఆయన అనేక అంశాలను మీ ముందు ప్రస్తావించారు మీ కామెంట్ ఏదో కూడా తప్పకుండా రాయండి థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ చూస్తూనే ఉండండి